What's up guys, it's Raph in the Raph Cave and welcome back to another home theater video. Now I go from this to this. Let's check it out. Welcome back to another video. Now this is a special home theater video I want to thank Elite Screens for providing an amazing ambient light reflection Cinegray 3D screen for the Raft Cave. Now I have it installed right now. It looks glorious, but I'm going to walk through the process of setting it up and getting it installed out of the box. Oh man, what's great about a gray screen, right? It reflects ambient light. So if you have a room that has some light in the background, it's not going to diminish the quality of the picture, which is great. Uh, now for me, I have a lot of things going on back here for lights and some, some, you know, some shine back here. So I can actually kind of see it in the, in the white screen. So I'm hoping now with a gray screen, I can have some of this stuff on and still enjoy an incredible picture. But also, even if the lights are completely off and I can get as dark as possible, that the screen and boost the contrast, right? Because it's a gray screen and also helps the black levels achieve a little bit deeper blacks now, that'd be a huge plus so i'm excited i want to thank you again elite screens i love your screens i've had the cine white screen for you know seven years loved it and of course their website provide ton of ton of different ty uh, types of screens different materials different sizes different types of screens for all occasions so check them out i'll leave a link in the description below but guys i'm excited let's get into this video like, subscribe, share, and let's check it out. So as you can see here, as we're opening it up, we're gonna have the owner's manual and paperwork on top. Then we have the uh, the skinny box there, which is the frame, the big box, which is the actual screen rolled up. And then this bag right here, I mean, it's got loads of parts. A lot of springs, got two white gloves, got the spring puller, all the brackets, everything you need inside there to put together this incredible screen. All right, let's keep moving. Okay, so right here, we're gonna look at the um, papers and manuals that come with it. So this first one here is going to be the main instructions. Uh, it's going to tell you uh, all the parts that come with it, the frame configuration, all the different steps. It's very nicely laid out, easy to, uh, to follow. In the back, and we'll get to all this later in the video, but very good directions, instructions, so you never feel like it's too overwhelming. So this this form here is to kind of let you know that if you don't have the proper reflection point, it's not going to look very good. This right here tells you exactly the angle of where your projector is on the ceiling or on the table. To get the best screen quality, this is going to be the, uh, the two rings that go in the holes of the screen. So we can pull them. And this is if you have some wrinkles in the screen, you can use a hairdryer to flatten it out if you need to. I didn't have that issue with my screen. The materials were perfect. Um, and this one is just a disclaimer of a hotspot possibility if your projector and angles aren't correct. And uh, this one's just a little advertisement. Black pin. So as we get this box open, <clears throat> where the frame is, you'll see the frame there, nicely laid out. Got a little bit of plastic straps around those frames. You got the uh, black edge border there. You got the middle frame support. So this part here is when you open up the instruction manual and telling us where to put uh, the anchors for the frame. Uh, there's a couple little pieces there. The, the thicker one, or the thinner one inside the frame and the thicker one goes on top. Um, so when you line up the frames they click in place there, and then you put the four screws 
There, and that keeps it all together. Very nice. So for the corners, the same thing applies. Put the uh, small holes uh, right angle inside the frame and then put the larger holes right angle on top of that. And then you just uh, push the frame together and kind of line up the corner um, as close as you can. So it all lines up, you know, the both pieces. Yep, get nice and flat. Yep. And then from that point, you put the four screws in and tighten them up. And that'll lock in the corner. So just do the same process for the other three corners and the other side. All right, so you get some nice white gloves. You want to throw them on before you uh, tackle the screen to lay it out. So here you want to get those two um, mats down if you like to keep things more clean. And then uh, you want to roll the screen out as so. And uh, don't worry, it's all wrinkled. That's fine. No worries. I don't have the, the most amount of space, so I'm trying to you know, kind of keep it even here. So just lay it out flat like that, facing, uh, facing down, of course. And just tighten it out as, as much as you can. And uh, then you want to lay your nicely made frame down right on top. And boom. And you kind of want to make sure it's uh, on the inside of the, of the screen. Yep. And then, uh, yeah, start, uh, start fastening the screen to it. Let's go. All right, so this part is when you have fastened those uh, plastic pieces to the actual screen. Uh, so the, uh, the larger one goes in the, in the bottom. And then you want to snap the top one over it, and then that'll be your hook. So basically you want to do that for every single hole. It's going to take about 30 to 40 minutes. <laughs> Two bags there. Let's go. All right, so once you get all those uh, the holes uh, filled up with those plastic uh, rings, and this is the part where you grab all the springs, and you um, attach the screen to the frame. Now in the instruction manual, there's a certain way to do it. There's different sections of the screen you want to do one by one. That way it kind of pulls tight evenly across the whole screen. It's not too much in one area or whatnot. So this process took a long time. Uh, but with that handy tool, it was uh, it was very easy to do. It'd be a lot easier if I had some help because it gives you they give you two different uh, spring pullers. Uh, but it was just me, me, myself, and I. Uh, but yeah, once... Uh, once got all the springs in there, the screen was, was nice and, and tight and uh, no wrinkles at all. It was awesome and uh, very pleased with uh, how it uh, came out. All right, so after you get the springs in, uh, you want to put that center bar uh, in the middle there. It's very easy to do. It's that, that one single bar. It just slides into the first groove uh, on the top and then just swing it on the bottom and and it kind of keeps the screen, uh, uh, you know, s strengthens the screen. Um, so after that part, uh, this is where you can mount it if you want. Um, but for me, I wanted to put the uh, the black edge around it. So then um, you want to get the, uh, the black edge parts, put it all around the screen, and then you want to uh, link them up uh, with the brackets and I'll show you how to do that. So just like the main frame, uh, I'm just going to use the, uh, the the edge, the black edge. You put that metal bar in between the frame uh, so it snaps them together like that. Line it up to the, the main screen. Grab the four screws and apply that to, to the holes there and then tighten it up. And now that we're at the corner, put the same thing, the right angle uh, connector in between the beam, slide it in there. And then match it up and you want to put the four screw holes in there as well. All right, guys. So for right now, the screen is complete. Screen's up. Everything looks great. We got four tabs you got to put on the wall. One, two, three, four. Now the bottom ones you want to have loose. Keep those loose because that's where the bottom of the, 
the screen is gonna hook and then you can slide it as you move it up to when it reaches this and then it goes down on top of there then hooks in. All right guys, so if you wanna attach the LED strip around your screen, this is the um, additional upgrade. It's the LED strip. Open this guy up and you're gonna have two rolls of LED lights. With the huge power brick. Wires going there. Adapter goes there. Awesome remote, multiple colors. And the power cord for the brick. So basically you're gonna have an, an adhesive underneath the LED strip. And basically you're gonna to wanna to attach it to this flat part of the, uh, the frame. So far so good guys. Use the adhesive and just go along the trim on the bottom. See, pull the 3M sticker off and just line it up real nice right along the edge. Real easy. So we're just gonna go all the way around. Move the little spindle here. Little roll, all the way. And then this one, it's gonna go all the way around. And then we're gonna cut the excess. So it meets up right in the middle. And then you're gonna have this sensor right here. This little plug will be on the bottom of the screen. All right, we'll keep going. All right guys, got the white gloves on. I'm about to lift the frame up and hook it to the bottom ones first. Lift, and then go up top and connect it on top there. And then we'll see how it goes. All right guys, got it up. Now, normally you don't want to do just one person, um, but you know, if you have a friend, definitely grab one side, the other side. But basically what you want to do is, ideally you want to go from the bottom and then lift up and then hook and then it falls, but I couldn't do that. So I went to the top first, hooked that, and then went underneath, pushed that, that bracket up, push the screen back, and then let it slide down so it locks in. Now I can't pull it up, okay? So when you take it off, of course, you want to go up a little bit, unhook it, and then come down. But we got it, guys. It's up. It's pretty sweet. All right, let me uh, fix up the trimmings and get it fired up. Be right back. So there's only one blemish on this screen that I've noticed. It's this little white spot here. Not really sure what it is, but um, it's like a little stain or something. But luckily it's in the bottom corner, which you don't really see too often or look at, so it's not that big of a deal. Man, what a beautiful, beautiful screen this is. Holy cow. Cinegray 3D. One more thing to do to make it official. See the elite screens right there? Hold on. Yep. There. Oh. Done, guys. It's official. Integrate 3D in the raft cave. Whoa, giant. Love it. 135 inch.
beast. So I just fired up the projector, and by the way, I have the native 4K Sony 295ES projector, incredible projector by the way. Um, but I just fired up the screen, got it all measured up, get the zoom and the and you know the, the shifting and get, get everything fit up pretty good. It is incredible, guys. I just watched a little bit of the Avengers, and I can tell you firsthand, the HDR looks better than I, what I had with the white screen. This is amazing. And also, I'm getting deeper blacks, which I can't believe. And that just benefits overall the picture quality with HDR. Super impressed, super happy. Let's watch some more scenes. Uh, this is just the Avengers here. It looks just awesome. And by the way, I do have lights uh, in the basement turned on. And because of its gray screen and ambient light reflection, it's going to bounce that light off uh, of the screen to preserve uh, uh, decent blacks, still decent blacks, and still see the picture really nicely. And it just looks absolutely awesome. I mean, look at Scarlet, just so gorgeous. The HDR just pops. You got Cap looking great. You got Black Panther looking awesome. You got Hulkbuster with Banner in there looking awesome. This is great. It's super bright. I mean, it just looks really, really good. The HDR pops. I mean, it looks like they're actually in daytime right now. This is just great. Loving this picture, guys. Look at Thor. He's just ready to unleash the fury. Oh, I'm just so happy. So definitely, you know, even if I turn the lights off behind me, let's see if it makes a little difference here. Man, not much, huh? Lights on. Lights off. Let's turn on some more lights down here. Like a lot more light. Can I see in the middle there? It's got a little more of that, that gray black. But that's a lot of lights on in the basement. And it still looks really good. Get a little better. And totally black. Absolutely amazing, guys. Let's watch some more footage of uh, some 4K. All right, guys, here we are with some amazing HDR footage from YouTube. And uh, I'm sure you've all seen this uh, particular video. Uh, I've seen it a lot. Uh, and I can tell you guys right away from what I'm seeing, this is a much brighter picture. I'm getting really good pop in HDR. Color is incredible. Detail is amazing. Uh, I'm, I mean, I've seen this picture on regular LED TVs and it's looking very similar incredible guys so basically what i'm saying guys is if you have a dark room a gray screen will benefit your picture i'm talking about contrast talking about hdr talking about color it pops it looks absolutely fantastic but what the benefit of a gray screen is is again by turning on lights in the in the basement which are turning on right now the picture is still preserved. It looks great. I still get great, incredible blacks. Color is fantastic. Nothing's bleeded out or, or washed away. I'll put on even more light. Even more light in the basement and the picture still retains its quality. That is awesome. So I can have people down here. I can have lights on. I can have other TVs on down here and it will not take away uh, that much from the actual picture quality of this screen. Absolutely amazing, guys. Definitely check out the Cinegray ambient light rejecting screen from Elite Screens. This is really, really impressive. Now, guys, getting into the, the LED lights. Now, that's something you can add. It's, a, it's an add-on option for this particular screen. Um, now, you're going to have this remote control here which is going to give you a lot of different color options, it's going to give you the brightness, um, um, bright and dark, off and on. You're going to have different effects like flash. So it's going to go through the different colors there. You can have strobe. Which kind of cycles through the color. Then you have fade. And then the final option is smooth. I 
I kind of like the uh, the fade, which is pretty cool. So this is a nice little touch to the screen if you want to have some uh, M, you know LED lights around your screen. It's the first time I've ever had it, so I'm pretty pumped about it. But we'll turn it off. But it's really neat. But still, guys, I have lights on in the basement, and the picture is still incredible. My gosh, the detail on this screen is phenomenal. Turn off the lights again. Wow. So impressed by the screen, guys. The Raft Cave has been upgraded. Even with the gray screen in a completely dark room, it is beneficial. Deeper blacks, much more brightness. I can't say it enough, guys. Look at the color. Love it. Absolutely love it. Now, if you're getting any blooming from the cam, uh, the picture, that's from the camera, not the actual screen itself. So now I have all the lights on in my basement. All the lights are on down here. And the picture still pops. I even have lights in front of the screen, as you can see from the shadow next to my speakers, and it still has contrast. It's crazy. It's really, really cool. I can actually turn down the contrast if I wanted. This is very, very bright. So it's basically, it's making my Sony projector perform better, which is awesome. What an incredible screen. All right, guys, thanks for watching this unboxing video, uh, review video, setup video. Uh, I, can, I can't say enough good things about how amazing this screen looks down here in my basement. I am super thrilled to watch tons of more content on this screen. It's like I bought a new TV. Right, the picture's brighter, the picture looks better, the color, the sharpness, everything. It's like I got a brand new projector. Uh, all because of a, a gray screen in a basement. I'm it's super incredible, impressed. Cinegray 3D from Elite Screens is the way to go and change my outlook on white screens versus gray screens. Guys, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to set, uh, pick one up for yourself. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, guys. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome screen. Raft Cave is upgraded. Looks great, guys. All right, guys, if you want to pick yourself up a, a screen yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below. But guys, check out Elite Screens. They're the way to go for home theater and home cinema screens at your house. Awesome, awesome stuff. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. Like, subscribe, share. If you want to see another one, go ahead and click another one. Home theater rules. Raft Cave out. See ya.